hello there beautiful souls welcome into the channel this is it center healing tarot thank you so much for being here and i do hope you are well in this time i thank you so much for hitting the like button and for sharing the videos with those you love if you have not yet done so please subscribe to the channel so thank you for being here welcome in welcome in so we're going to get general messages for you, Cancerian, and because they are general messages, all of the messages may not apply to all of you. So take the ones that do apply to you and the rest let them fly. So breathe in here with me so that we can get accurate messages for you that will somehow hopefully be able to guide you along your journey. I feel like this message is for you today. And I hear for your progress and your prosperity, 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 for your onward movement. All right, so listen up. Breathe. All right, so someone may have been under a lot of pressure. Under the pressure, under the pressure. Under the pressure, my friend. Maybe at work. Maybe for work for a change. And I hear govern. Govern. Maybe someone was watching you. You felt watched. Like you were in this box, trapped. You didn't have any privacy or any space. Look at all the swords energy here. All right. So maybe there was some, you were under investigation from something having to do with the law or police, you know, anything in court, anything legal you were dealing with. Maybe it had to do with a marriage for some or any, some, a union that you were in. We saw the two, see the two of cups here, a previous union could have been between a fellow water sign, a soulmate energy or a fire sign here. You know, this person, when they approached you, they, I, I don't want to, just feeling this energy of this person, they had, they had another intention. They were hiding something. And I feel like you felt like that, like you knew that. Anywho, so if th this feeling that you're feeling now, let, let's try and figure what this out, what this is, figure this out. What is this feeling Cancer is experiencing as the King of Swords? What is this feeling? Maybe like you're thinking, maybe things are not manifesting for you. Things aren't working out. Your dream isn't coming through or something about your vision. Like you don't have a, that clear vision. You have a lot maybe dealing with mentally. But I don't feel that really deep. But maybe for some of you. But it's like almost like you have a block here. I feel like you have a block right in front of your face. Like you want to move forward, but there's an obstacle. Facing the truth or speaking the truth. And I hear speak the truth and speak it clear. We have the Queen of Swords here. She looks like she's testifying. Speak the truth. All right, so I don't know. I don't know that that King of Swords energy. I can't get it quite. I'm not feeling it. What is the King of Swords? Maybe that's the energy. It is, you know, it's just that I'm not feeling it. It come, it's, it's like, it's like numbness. It's like you don't even know what you're feeling about even your own, your, what you're experiencing now. You could be feeling that way because of loss or separation or um you know maybe expecting things not to work out for you as the queen of swords energy being um protective of your energy maybe because of past experiences all of that but it's going to get pulled up so just to let you know um that energy you're gonna move out of it it feels like you're also in ten of swords energy the darkest hour of the night that comes just before daylight vibration here but your challenge or your obstacle could be speaking or what, what, what are you talking about? I feel like maybe if you practice silence more and um, speak the truth more and let your words 
Say what you mean, mean what you say. Let your words be a lamp unto your feet. Something like that. You know, you have to start living a really focused life where you have your boundaries, your intact for yourself when you become self-aware so all of this whole identity of um with the queen of swords energy of being feeling hurt stuck in sorrow thinking about even bitterness thinking about things that happened to you in the past i'm not saying you should let it go you know all i'm saying is think of how it is it is keeping you from and i hear the word relenting how, what is it keeping you from? I, I do feel like you are a truth teller with the Queen of Swords energy here. You speak the truth and you speak it boldly. You speak it well. I don't feel like you you tell a lie. Honestly, you know, I'm seeing these swords here. I feel like you are very self-aware, but it feels like you're still holding back. You are protecting something and what you're protecting is life, I feel, honestly. You know... But as there's the obstacle, it could be in speaking the truth or having clarity. You know what I mean? Maybe in clarity in vision where you want to go next. Um, some of you could be dealing with sadness from a separation. I feel like you are going to be successful in whatever you're dealing with because, you know, you see the five of swords energy here. You have more swords apparently than these people, right? these other two but the thing is it was two against one how dare them come at they come at you two against one so you had to really stand up for yourself you it's like you leave i feel like you're gonna have to stand up and defend yourself you know so even though i feel like i don't feel sorry for these people they came at you two against one so you need three swords to go up against them that's how i feel and that's bringing in the death energy for you, which is a change and end. What I feel is ending for you is the, and I feel beautifully it's your mindset as well. What I feel is ending for you is this, this covering that I've been feeling over your energy. It could be darkness, but it's not dark. It's literally, it feels like just a covering over your energy. I'm getting the energy of an organ, an internal organ, like the liver. Yeah. Um, you know that um, the, uh, the organ that covers the liver, there's a thin... So I feel like you're protected. But there could be something about your liver for some reason as well. Drinking. So you're going to cut off some people from your past that were coming at you wrong. They were coming at you wrong, man. It's not even, it doesn't necessarily have to be people. It can be any situation or thought or anything that you're dealing with that you had to re-equip yourself for. You had to pull out something great, you know, so that you could defeat what was coming at you. And the death energy is the result, like I say, it's the end of this King of Swords. That little coating that covers the organ. The texture of it makes it hard to pierce. The material that makes it up makes it hard to pierce. It wasn't looking 360. Yeah, it wasn't looking 360 because remember you have to have balance. So even though it was protecting this this over here, it wasn't looking at what was going on on the other side, you know. And so, I don't know, that's how it's being removed. And it's not being removed, it's becoming aware. It's becoming more aware. So the King of Swords is going to extend itself and even shield the other side of you that was maybe left unprotected or something like that so it's becoming more expanded more self more aware i feel because i feel it going around this the the wall here so you can see what's going on on the other side and it is actually the king of swords grateful that i taught it or help it helped it to get another perspective maybe that's what it is maybe it's another perspective because one is just focusing on this view 
and not getting a feel of what is on the other side. So I feel strongly this King of Swords needed to really shift its view to, to get a feel of what is on what is on the other side. And there may be about truth or powerful force of love with the Ace of Swords. Okay, so that that is what is going to happen. The death energy, which is the end. Um, the new day, something new beginning also. That's what I'm saying. It's this The death energy feels like it is the one that's pulling this one to look the other direction. You know, sometimes they say it's trauma that causes you to causes one to become enlightened so to speak um in some cases or in many cases this feels like death came through and is pulling this one into an awakening a realization a fuller awareness of the fullness of life you know um that's how i feel with that for that so i feel even this queen of swords she is gonna you know, it's not really gender related, but we're just talking about the card. She is going to end up shifting as well. And what is she doing? Because I feel like it's just it's judgment energy, judgment energy, judgment called death energy into being. So like I was saying, death is the result of a judgment. And I feel like the judgment was summoned up or beckoned up upon by the queen or something the queen of swords you know she cast this judgment maybe could have been upon yourself you were examining your own life you you were what were you doing focusing more you're putting in more work you were leaving people behind it's the actions you were taking the thoughts you were thinking um the how you were intentionally focused and what you were protecting what you were building at the same time going through everything with the swords energy so it was just i feel like this is a 2021 reading it was of energy here a lot of feeling of stagnancy like hardness stubbornness but at the same time there was a lot of thought and action being taken and stability being developed in mind in heart in body in spirit and developing spiritual courage and your own boundaries and all of that taking you like I, so i feel like you're going in 2022 with a new perspective on your own self on you on your life because cancer and energy is represented by death here i feel like what listen what can come with you will not into 2022 you know what's not meant to be there whatever mindset it's not gonna come in it's not going to thrive with you okay um i know a lot of we lost a lot okay but i feel like where something is going to come in that's going to kind of fill the gap so to speak you know <clears throat> i was um saying it's similar to the energy of losing someone in the home and then a grandmother energy comes around and she starts cooking and taking care of the house and it's like she fills the energy with this energy of the house with love so something is going to come around for you with the death energy, something leaving, ending, and life coming back with this dark card, something filling up and restoring, replenishing the energy. And it's an energy of love and healing and comfort and solace too with the strength energy here. So even if some of you are going through separation, you hear you divorced, going through a loss, and I feel even some of you are going to even align. Some of you are going to go, go to church and get baptized, something like that. But you're aligning to a greater spiritual connection. Or maybe you're going to find a guru or you're going to start practicing some other things that's spiritual. You know, maybe meditation, fasting, all of that. And it's going to really help to fill some spaces in your life that you felt were missing, especially you know, because 2021 was an awakening year. You get to realize who you are, what you've been living, what was working for you, what wasn't. You know, so it's just a sum up. The death card is taking out. Just, I just as like I say, it's a transformation, of a brand new perspective. And the King of Swords, like I say, feels appreciative that he was able to be guided to a new perspective. 
because he was there being hard all the time and it's like he felt he could have felt look behind him it's like he couldn't see all the life behind him you know but it's like his in his senses telling him all what's go all of what's going on behind him so it's like being stuck in stubbornness and all these rules and laws and all these things you know it's the energy of the being so militant you know he's told you can't let down your guard you can you can tr look behind you you know he's relieved to find out what's been behind him all along it's freeing there's something about this ring on this person's finger standing out so you may wear a ring on your middle finger maybe that means something to you and that is on your left hand and so what we have working for you is your confidence i feel like you won't feel you won't feel lack or need anymore this is the king of pentacles your mindset has changed when it comes to your feelings of wealth and it's almost like you know who you are well that's what i've been seeing you know who you are when it comes to your feelings of wealth it's confidence it's courage it's knowing you have what it takes within you to be to have everything in this world you know, look at this person's face it's like you've gotten some new information and you feel confident moving into the new year leaving certain things behind you know, looking forward to the rest of your life of wealth and abundance, joy, happiness, prosperity um, for you, the King of Pentacles. A new, brand, brand, brand new mindset of just well-being and how you can inspire how the world, how you can have an impact on the world, you know. And so something coming over in your world. What are you doing you may be sending out messages. I'm not sure if I'm reading for someone who is a DJ. But you send out frequencies. Like you can transmit energy across. So you can send out messages. Okay. Some, there's something whoa, wonderful happening in your world. The, the tenant, like a lot of gains, prosperity, success, transformation, change, travel. What is the star card? Sharing, giving. Something is going to get better and better. That's how I feel. Whatever, look, the world again. Whatever you're doing in home now, what is it healing, restoration, working on yourself, sharing a gift? Healing your garden, attending to yourself. I feel like it's going to get better and better. I feel like you can seek out the parts of you that need reassurance. I feel like you can also take action when you should follow your intuition. It's going to kind of lead you into your destiny energy. I feel like your mindset is the most important thing right now. So heal the mind it's going to help you to acquire what you need to be the best you can be the mind healing of the mind space your home is in your temple you take that wherever you go so i feel like the mind heal your mind by inviting beautiful wholesome healing thoughts the strength card, that's being in governance over your own temple, I feel. Your own ideas, your feelings. Is you directing, what is that energy that Sadhguru says? Oh my God, look at that. It's, you are also the magician, I like this. That is strength card for me is a softer, more feminine version of magician. So it's about inner mechanism inner engineer how you talk to yourself um because if your mind is how do i say this it's just having control over your own feelings so you wake up and say you feel the worst there you can actually take control of how you feel because remember it's you feel it's a part of you 
and you know i know i know i know it's not easy it's easier said than done because we make it so but um because it can be quite easy to change your vibration using your own inner well-being thoughts and feelings let it come from inside of you your inner roar you command how you feel so we're moving from a place of feeling down and out to your dream come true with the ten of cups from the ten of swords to the ten of cups energy a lot is coming in for you to a lot of information with the chariot energy you are guided to by your angels the spirit of guides ancestors here on your journey look this all of this i feel is what is taking you into 2022 and you're leaving most of the swords energy behind okay these are your lessons that you're taking with you the lessons of 2021 taught you about wealth well-being thinking clearly speaking up being honest taking care of yourself taking care of your mind looking in your your spaces your heart space your mind space even your physical body your environment and seeing the lifestyle that you're currently living um be clear be honest pray have faith what guided have boundaries and standards you know and you're leaving behind what's no longer serving you because you have a promising future ahead you have a lot to do and i feel like you have no time for games right now so just you know i know with the hierophant like i say i feel like you're gonna travel maybe recruited into some maybe a community with the hierophant energy I'm not sure if it is not like you're going to start doing some practices, spiritual practices, you know, you know, like it's almost like you're going to start going to church. You're going to meet a priest. What the heck? What the priest? gonna meet a priest talking about who is her death what is that the four of swords okay thank you so much for watching i hope you found messages that resonates with you and is able to help you on your journey much love until next time uh on your way out hit the like button share leave a comment subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet done so much love and appreciation all the best to you on your journey take it easy out there remember that all is within you you can do have everything and anything in this world you just that remember my darling take it easy out there all right bye